their goal is to finish that big piece by Wednesday. And that's up there. And um, it's about stoning of women. So um, I decided to make it everything white because of the assumed innocence of people stoning them, which because actually only one stone kills the woman, and that's one stone's red. And then I had um, a plastic figure over the stones, representing like the spirit of the women. So yeah, and that. And then I um, read an article about um, this year's Olympics and how this was the first Olympics where every uh, nation that was represented had at least one female member. So that's why I chose this. My mom's a minister, so her church gave up their old piano. And uh, it was going to be sold for scrap because it was too far out of tune to actually be used. And so she uh, took it. Uh, she had one of the guys in the congregation just cut out uh, the insides of it, take out all the keys and then just put them in a box and gave them to me. And so, as you can kind of see here, I've, I have this. I haven't really done anything much with this yet, but I've kind of arranged the keys in a way that I can kind of formulate what I'm going to do with the next. First of all, I actually started by, um, it's fun with just like a study of human nature, and then I split up into different emotions, and uh, sadness, anger, jealousy were the three ones, the main ones that came to me. And so I started researching sadness, and then, uh, my sister posed for a couple of pictures for me, and uh, this is where this came from. Um, I made the face out of wood, and then I had a converse on top. I nailed them in the wood, and then this is also wood, so this and this, and then the converse comes on top there. Nailed it in, had cardboard coming out, and I documented the process, like I have pictures for all of them. And I duct taped it and put the fabric on it. This is just scales of the fabric. I cut out the fabric and the scales. I intend to eventually go to Abashan University, Domus Academy in Milan, and um, I'm gonna get um, hopefully a master's from there, fashion designing. I, I spend a lot of lunch hours in here, and sometimes, yeah, I, I just spend a lot of lunch hours, my freeze mostly I come here. Time-wise, you're spending weekends, you're spending your lunch hours, you're spending a lot of uh, unscheduled periods of time. Even standard level, this is, is 150 hours of work over two years. Now just doing their scheduled periods is not enough. There's still downtime so that there's Adele sitting here when she has a spare. Right. You know, now a lot of kids, they don't have that spare. They want to do the musical, they want to do their sports. You can do whatever you want though. You can be, you can come to art class, um, but you still can be involved in the sports. You're a busy person at the grammar school no matter what, so you're going to have to find your time. You use your lunch hours, your freeze, even time at home. Wherever you can find time, you'll find time. To achieve your goals of getting your IB diploma, having fun cause, while you're at it because art's fun. Sports are fun. So... I'm doing photography, but I also decided to do printmaking, and so I'm kind of correlating my photography into my printmaking. So what I did for printmaking was I actually carved um, symbols into wood, and then I took um, rollers and special print paper, and I printed images out, like that there. I'm trying to make a chess set based on the Vietnam War. Well, there's two sides. One is, is of course US and one is of course the North Vietnamese. So what, what I'm planning on is to... My first plan was to make a mow out, make a mow out of this wood and pour some hot wax in there and make a shape. And then they are aware of hunger and, and uh, war and, and things like that. And then what is their, what's their take on it? 
That's mm -hmm. really important. We need to know what you are thinking and how you visually make messages that say to somebody, this is how I feel.